Hi everyone and welcome back to Artful. In this week's tutorial we're going to be taking another look at watercolours, specifically how I painted this view from our window. So find yourself your own view that you'd like to paint from and I'll talk you through it. This is the view from Artful HQ, so what I'm going to focus on are the roofs in the foreground, the roofs in the background, the foliage and greenery, and finally the centrepiece of the image, the tower. To begin with, I'm actually painting on top of a yellow watercolour wash, and this is to give my painting a bit of a warmer tone. If you're one of those people who find sketching on top of a blank piece of paper quite intimidating, painting on top of a coloured background is a quick and easy way to dispel that anxiety. Mixing together a deep blue and a deep orange and adding a bit of water, we get that colour for the brickwork of our composition. And using the flat brush, we are able to apply that detail to the areas of the painting that we want the buildings to be in. Mixing together some dark greens, blues and black, we get that nice slate colour that we're going to apply to the roofs of our buildings. I'm going to use a watercolour wash for the greenery of our composition, so using a round brush and a lot of water we can start to prepare for that layer now. Here I'm adding some deep green to my brush and adding it into the water. You can see how the paint disperses into the water that we've already put down onto the paper and it gives that lovely effect. Adding a bit of red and purple into the green paint in our tin. Here I'm just doing the exact same thing, just for the more red autumnal trees in our composition. Now our initial brick layer is dry, I'm mixing together a darker red-orange so we can start to add the detail of our buildings. I'm applying this deeper orange onto one side of the tower in the far background just to show you where the light is hitting it and where the shadows are forming. Now that our initial slate layer is dry, mixing together some nice deep blues, greens and blacks, you can start to add into the detail of the roofs such as tiling. Using a finer brush and a darker version of the colour from the underlayer, I'm now adding some of our texture on top of the wash for our plants.
The top of the tower that I'm painting from is a nice oxidized copper color. So mixing together some pale blue and a bit of green and using our flat brush, I can start to apply this detail. For the sky in the background, I'm taking the same principles we use for the wash for the trees of our composition and adding a nice darker blue on top of the yellow underlayer. This is a great way to try and capture the texture of clouds. Using a darker version of the copper colour we use for the top of the tower and with a finer brush to finish off our painting, we're just going to add a bit more detail. And there you go, a nice watercolour architectural painting of the view from our window. I hope this tutorial showed you the basics of composition and perspective, gave you the confidence to paint from your own real life reference and showed you just how effective watercolours can be when you layer them up. So let us know in the comments down below how you got on painting your architectural paintings or if there's just any other techniques or processes that you'd like us to cover. I'd really like to see everyone's version of this tutorial, so tag us on Instagram with your own creations at Artful Box. Like and subscribe to our YouTube to see some of our earlier videos. And why not treat yourself and visit arvo.co.uk. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you soon.